This is my first time working with JP. It's my first time filming with JP. Adan Maluk, the producer of the film Another Side of Life, in which Junior Pope and others died during the production of the movie, has stepped out to tell her side of the story. Let us hear what she has to say. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adam Maluk. On the 10th of April, we lost five of our members who we were on their way to work, on their way to location. Through the means of both transportation had an asset. I've been so traumatized. I've been so cold. This whole thing. It still feels like a dream to me. I just wish I can still wake up from this dream. I've not been able to make any statements since because we've been trying to recover the bodies. I've been providing trial providing for money to those looking for bodies, provided the uh, caskets, ambulance to make sure the bodies were conveyed to their villages, to the families that wanted it to be done. I've not been quiet. I've been doing this I've been doing this just so these people can rest It's so sad that this had to happen on my set It's so sad I blame myself that I would have been in Lagos doing my day in Lagos. I blame myself for coming down to Asaba. I was supposed to be on that boat. My production manager was calling me to bring the memory card so they can start filming. And I told him to come and collect it. He said, Mama, you know this place is far. Please just bring it for us. I said, okay, why haven't you go crossed? Why haven't you gone to work? He said, they're waiting for junior book to arrive. I said, okay. Before now, on the night, they went there on their own. When Junior Pope came, he came on his own. He came alone. So, on this tent, while I was getting ready to go drop the card with them, I was accompanying with my brother's children, two kids, that were supposed to go with me. We were supposed to be on that boat together. Getting there, I saw Emeka. Emeka was my DOP. He was just sitting. I was surprised because I didn't see others. I asked him, what is it? 
and people surrounded him. He said, Emeka, what is it? Emeka was quiet. Emeka, talk to me. What, what is it? What's the problem? Why haven't you crossed? Where is Ogolo? Where is everybody? Has JP come? He was quiet. I started shouting. What's happening? Somebody talked to me. I make her now said, JP, don't go. I began, don't go. Thank you, don't go. I like to, don't go. Precious. Don't go. Ha. I still don't understand what he meant by that. I said, what do you mean, don't go? Don't go where? Don't go where? Like, they are not shooting again. Is that the day say water? The day say water? I said, no. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. They started holding me. They started holding me. Now, she will go. I said, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me be sure the divers are looking for them. He said, no, that there are over 50 divers inside the world are looking for them. Hey, God. I still can't believe this. I still can't believe this because these crew members were my family. They've been working with me in Lagos. If I'm shooting in Lagos, they will transport from Asaba to Lagos to go and work with me. All through last year, we stayed together in Lagos. We were filming, working together. This is my first time working with JP. It's my first time filming with JP. He's my friend. The wife is my friend too. I talk to the wife sometime. And that was when she gave JP the phone and said, Why haven't you given my husband work? JP said, I thought you'd be my friend. Why are you not me work? I told JP that. You know you, my action for you, they shoot. I hardly do action. He said, no, say they do love story or they do other things. That's why he's an artist there. I said, yeah, that's true, that I forgot that as an artist, you can do other things. So the day before JP came, that Tuesday afternoon, and that was when he made the video he posted. If you, could, if you all can see, he was alone on that boat that day. Because every other person has gone. Then on the third Wednesday that this whole thing happened, I was still in my hotel, getting ready because I was holding their card that they were used to film. The production manager told me they were waiting for Junior Pope. I said, uh -uh, he has not come. Before I knew what was happening, Junior Pope called me. I said, ah, Ada, what's happening? I said, nothing, what's up? He said, I'm calling you because of TC, what's happening? TC is an artist I employed for this job. Tochukumatsu Okafu. I called him for this job. He was supposed to, he's playing a role as one of the boys in the movie. So I told, I told the, Junior Pope that. What did he tell you? He said, because he's threatening that he's coming with boys to come and scatter your set. That he's going to deal with you. I said, why will he say that? That this is the same thing he did on my set in 2021 when I employed him for a job. He started fighting the director that the director is not a DGM member, whereas the director is a DGM member. He was just fighting them. 
poor boy. The, poor, the entire name is documents. If he's seen this video, I believe he can attest to it. So this little uh, JP was like, so I told him not to stress me on the job. He said, okay, Ada, no problem. Just pay me my my money, my artist fee, and the 3,000 naira for the loud. No problem. Say so deliver for me. I said, okay. I told Ogolo to handle it and sort it because Ogolo is my PM. I give him money to sort so to do transfers and buy things that's needed because I don't do all that myself. I give money to my production manager. He handles everything from bringing out artists, transportation and everything, feeding. He does all that. On that said day, I saw my director. They were outside. I saw a Mekati. So my director was saying that Mama, I, I don't know what happened though. I don't know. He was on life jacket. Emeka, the DOP, was on life jacket. There was still one life jacket available. I don't know who took it, who had it. But my PM said that day that they saw life jackets hanging there, so they took it. That even he even told Friday, the late Friday, to send one to Junior that you know, said it was dead, so so he didn't take it. This people with the life jacket survived, and they also told me that when they were in the water trying to survive, that Junior Pope was also there asking, Is everybody okay? Hope everybody is fine. That they even threw a gallon to him to use and hold himself. Which he was holding. That all of a sudden they didn't see him again. It was when they came out that they noticed that he was no longer there. Because the same divers came and rescued some of them. While other divers were still there trying to rescue others. Asked who would have caused this? Who would have caused this accident? He said uh, he didn't know but that this was standing. This was standing on the speedboat and ringing bell. 